Okay, folks, so this is um, just a, a little quick film that I'm making really for myself to remind myself about how to do this later. Uh, but I'm going to put it on YouTube anyway in case somebody else finds it interesting. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to show here is how to um, instance some obje objects on some points in geometry nodes and then how to rotate those, um, how to rotate them randomly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So to start off with, I've got this uh, shape here, this arrow, which is what we're going to use as our geometry. So I can just hide that for now. I'm going to come over to here and let's just call this Geo Node Setup. All right. So over here, I'm going to do Shift A S for search and then um, O space I for object info. Put this up here. And then we can click on here and select our arrow. And we're going to do. Uh, shift a s uh, i o p instance on points. Gonna put that over here. Just organize these a little bit better. Okay, so our geometry is going to plug into the instance here. And um, okay, now we need to have an, uh, some geometry to actually put place those uh, arrows onto. So Shift A S and then G R I D grid. And we're going to pull that over here. So now you can see that we've got arrows putting onto put onto a, a grid of. Uh, one meter by one meter with three uh, three vertices. Let's just make that arrow a bit smaller and make this grid bigger. Okay, now let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see the arrows properly. All right, so, okay, over here we can already rotate um, the arrows here, but if we want to, um, Rotate this Z uh, axis randomly. We need to, we need to be able to access just the Z because if I if I plug a a number in here, it would change all of them. So the way we do that is to do Shift A S and then X Y Z X Y Z combine X Y Z and that goes over here. Plug that in here, and now we have access to. that over here. Okay, now one thing you, you'll notice, which is a little bit annoying, if I just unplug this for a second, you'll see that here, if I do, if I do 360, we get one full rotation, which is what, that's the way everybody thinks about rotation is in degrees of 160. Okay, but if I plug this in here, all of a sudden we've got, well, 160 is way too much. Already, we get a full rotation by about six, okay, which is kind of strange. I don't understand why that is. Um, the fix for that is to do a math node and then choose uh, to radians, okay. So now, if I plug this in here, we have our 360 back again. Three sixty gives us a full rotation. Okay, that's good. Um, now, personally, I, for me, in my brain, you know, when I give a positive three sixty uh, amount, I want it to turn clockwise, but it's turning anti-clockwise, which to me is not intuitive. So let's just plug this in here. We're going to multiply this by minus one, and that just basically reverses the sign. So now it's for my brain going the right way. Okay, so this is all right, but what I want is to start off, I want the arrows to start off in some random rotation and then I want to spin them from there. So to do that, we're going to do control C, control V for this. 
Okay, we're going to unplug this here. We're going to put a math node in here. Which is just going to add to these two together. So we plug this back in here. We add it add to zero. If we, sorry. Oh, it's got a plug in here. Okay, and what we want to add to this, so basically this is a setup we had a moment ago, but now I can, I, can, I can add something to this, which is going to be a random value. And the value goes up here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have it between 1 and 360. So let's just, just for now, unplug this. So... We're going to plug this into. We're now going to have a random random value between between one and three hundred and sixty. That's going to ch turn into radians, and we plug that in here. So now you see our arrows are randomly um, rotated. Okay, and on the other side, we're going to plug in this, which which will give, uh, which will now allow us to rotate them further. So you can see that's working. And what we could also do, because maybe I want to sp spin a little bit faster, is add in another math node, do multiply by five, and that will give us five times faster speed of uh, rotation. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. I hope somebody found this useful, and see you later.